Hi, welcome to the Agris Law Firm Talk Show. My name is Mike Agris. We are on VSAM 1040 Chicago today, and we are here with my partner Taylor and uh, Maria. And today we're going to be talking about Agris Law Firm, and Maria is going to be translating for us to our Spanish uh, speaking community. So, Taylor, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Taylor Casa. I'm a partner at Agris Law Firm and we handle personal injury and consumer rights cases. And I am Maria Rodriguez, and I, am, I work with Agris Law Firm, and I handle the uh, Spanish division. So today we're going to be talking about, in general, what Agris Law Firm does. Maria is going to be asking us some questions and translating into Spanish for our Spanish-speaking viewers. So Maria, if you want to take it over. Sure. Okay, so Mike, can you tell us a little bit about Agris Law Firm? Sure. So Agris Law Firm has been around for 10 years. It'll be 10 years this March. Uh, we handle personal injury and consumer rights cases. And our firm is different than most other firms in the sense that we're tech savvy. Uh, I like to say we're pretty cutting edge. Uh, we're very easy to get in touch with. We uh, have a very transparent process, so our clients always know what's going on. Um, we've moved into a role of communicating with people the way they want to be communicated with. So we text our clients a lot, we email our clients a lot, and uh, we get our clients fast results. So el señor Mike dice que la agencia está um, en negocio por 10 años y que lo que ellos hacen es trabajan en daños personales. Um, tienen cuatro abogados y tienen un, otros um, trabajadores que ayudan a trabajar. Ellos saben um, comunicar muy bien, usan te, um, text, uh, por email, uh, cuando usted necesita llamar siempre están a su um, disponible y también la única cosa que ellos quieren es quieren um, sacar resultados para los clientes. Um, so Taylor, your next question would be, what type of personal injury cases do you handle? Well, the most common personal injury case that we handle I'd say is car accidents. Um, we handle a lot of dog bite cases, so you're at a neighbor or a friend's house and you're bit by their dog. We handle slip and fall cases, most common in stores or outside of a commercial property or actually at friends' and family's houses as well. We handle nursing home abuse and neglect, primarily fall, nursing home fall cases and pressure sore cases. And last but not least, medical malpractice. So you were treated by a doctor or a surgeon and something went wrong. Uh, la señora Taylor dice que lo que hacen, los casos que hacen son accidentes de carros, caídas, mordidas de perros, y también hacen residencias de ancinos, y también hacen iglesias de medical. Um, so Mike. What if the viewers watching have an issue with family law, criminal law, real estate, immigration, wills, or other legal issues? Yes, yeah, so that's a good question. There are over 1.3 million lawyers in the country. And so over the years, we have developed a network of attorneys that we like to work with. So Taylor and I specialize in personal injury and consumer rights. And today we're talking about our personal injury practice. But as you mentioned, there's several other practice areas, and people should know that they don't want to go to a jack of all trades. Um, what they want to do is find a lawyer who specializes in their area of law. So if it's personal injury, car accidents, things like that, or the firm. If you have an issue with a uh, criminal issue, uh, family law, real estate, immigration, those things, we have developed a network of attorneys who we work with closely who share our values and the way that we think the law should be practiced and helping out clients and we will refer our clients within our network of attorneys and then that way we can oversee what's going on and we can help out if there's any questions or issues. So the short answer is, even if we don't specialize in it, we know someone who does, they're part of our network and so you can always reach out to our firm. So yo le pregunté al señor Mike, um, los que están mirando este show y si tienen un um, un problema con uh, criminal, con familia, uh, uh, perdón, um, legalmente familia y sin buen raíces, immigration, testamentos o otras cosas legal, uh, ¿qué se debe hacer? Y lo que él dijo fue que ahora en este 
estado hay 1.3 millones de abogados, um, pero la diferencia de Agris Law Firm es que ellos tienen otros abogados en, en el sistema que ellos trabajan que pueden ayudar con todo. Uh, tienen especialistas en uh, criminal, en bienes de raíces, uh, si tiene que uh, tener problemas con immigration o sus testamentos uh, o cualquier otra cosa, siempre hay un abogado que tiene experiencia para ayudar con todo lo que uh, se puede hacer legalmente. Uh, siempre pueden llamar y ellos tienen alguien que le puede ayudar con todo lo que necesite. And Maria, I can actually jump in and let me give you a couple of examples, like real, real world examples here. So if someone is going through a divorce, we have a family law attorney. If someone got pulled over and gets a DUI, we have a criminal defense attorney. Uh, if someone is buying real estate, we know someone who does real estate law. If there's an immigration question or someone needs help with a will, these are all people, attorneys in our network who we work closely with. And if the viewers are watching and they have an issue, with one of those things when they need help with it, they can contact us through you mm -hmm. and we can refer them out to our network. Okay. Like Mike said, there's so many lawyers out there. We vetted all the attorneys in our network, so you can trust us and you can trust the lawyers that we work with. So lo que dicen es que aunque hay muchos abogados ahí um, en esta área, uh, si trabaja con Agris Law Firm, tienen los mejores abogados que pueden ayudar con cada caso. Y si el caso es de criminal, y si es de familia, de divorcio, y si es de un accidente, testamentos, ellos han selectado los abogados mejores para que les puedan ayudar con su caso y ayudarles a ganar. Um, so Taylor, what kind of car accident cases do you handle? We handle a variety of car accident cases, whether it's car versus car, car versus pedestrian, someone on foot, car versus bike. We handle a lot of trucking accident cases, motorcycles, and rideshare accidents. So Uber, Lyft, whether you're in another vehicle that's in an accident with a rideshare vehicle or if you're a passenger in a rideshare vehicle, those are the types of car accident cases that we handle. Okay. Um, so le pregunté a la señora Taylor qué clase de accidentes de carro um, trabaja. Y dijo que hace um, casos de, de carros. Y si es accidente de, de, um, de chofer a chofer. Y si tiene una persona en el carro. Si tiene su familia en el carro. También hace um, casos de uh, como de Uber y Lyft, y si estás uh, usando un carro para que te lleven a un lugar y tienes un accidente. Um, también car uh, accidentes de trocas, también accidentes de accidentes de personas y también de motos, motociclistas. Uh, ellos hacen todos los casos de que puede pasar y si uno se choca con una persona, carro a carro, o también si se chocas contra un edificio. Cualquier accidente ellos pueden hacer. Uh, so Mike, in Illinois, do you need car insurance? You do. And this is uh, something that's so important that I'm glad you're here so you can share it to the viewers because if you have a car and you're driving in Illinois, you have to have insurance. Um, it's the most important thing uh, for two reasons. One, it's the law. Uh, so if you get pulled over and you don't have insurance, you are going to get a $500 ticket. Um, so it's obviously important to follow the law. Um, also, when you get insurance in Illinois, you, every single person is required to get coverage. Uh, it's called uninsured motorist coverage. And the easiest way to remember this is no insurance. So when you insure your own car and someone else hits you and they're at fault and they have no insurance, you can then go after your own insurance company to be paid out any type of damages and injuries uh, that you have. So for the viewers, I'd say uh, the most important thing to let them know is it's the law, you need it, and you're going to get a $500 ticket if you don't have it. And then secondly, you can almost look at it like your own health insurance, where it's not necessarily protecting the other person, it's protecting yourself. And the easiest way to look at this is if you're involved in a car accident and someone else doesn't have insurance, you can go after your own and they will pay you out any of your damages. Uh, la pregunta que le hice al señor Mike es, ¿en el estado de Illinois se necesita aseguranza de carro? Y la respuesta es sí. Uh, si uno no tiene aseguranza de carro, le dan una multa de $500 y se le para la policía. Si uno no tiene aseguranza, 
lo que uno debe hacer es comprar el seguro, porque si no tienes, uno se puede meter en gran problema. Si uno no tiene aseguranza y alguien te pega, entonces no se sabe quién va a pagar los gastos. En es, siempre debes tener aseguranza y hay una, una cobertura que es bien importante tener y esa es cobertura que se llama cobertura de mor, mo, modalista no aseguranza. Si no tiene, esa aseguranza es como tener um, seguro de vida. Si eso te cubre a usted, no a la otra persona. Así que si alguien te pega que no tiene aseguranza, entonces lo que pasa es tú usas tu seguro para, para las coberturas y para que te pague el seguro. And Maria, if some of uh, the viewers are watching and they hear, um, you know, this news of, you know, you have to have insurance, you could get a $500 ticket mm -hmm. and people can get in trouble and they have questions about it and they want to know, hey, I'm driving around, I don't have insurance, what can I do? Um, your phone number is on the screen. They can reach out to you if they have any questions and the viewers should know that they can call, they can text, they can email. We're more than happy to answer any questions that anyone has um, about insurance. And if they don't have insurance, we can point them in the right direction of insurance companies that are inexpensive so they can get coverage. Okay. So, el señor Mike dice que um, si tienes una duda que no sabes cómo comprar el seguro o no sabes dónde llamar, que me puedes llamar a mí. Mi teléfono está aquí, es 630-364-8185. Y yo te puedo ayudar, te puedo guiar. Y la, la agencia de Agris Law Firm también te puede ayudar a buscar y comprar la aseguranza para que tengas la cobertura que necesites. Thank you for watching the first uh, Agris Law Firm show on VSEM 1040, where we are speaking about personal injury 101 with my partner Taylor and our legal assistant Maria. Today's show is for our Spanish speaking clients, and we appreciate Maria being on the show to uh, help other people out. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out to Maria. Her phone number is on the screen. Thank you. Muchas gracias por ver nuestro show hoy. Um, lo que estábamos hablando hoy es de seguridad de carros con la compañía de Agris Law Firm. Lo que estamos viendo hoy en el programa de VSAM 1040. Muchas gracias por su tiempo y si tienen cualquier pregunta o tienen que hablar con un abogado, que por favor llame a mi número que está aquí, 630-364-8185. Que tengan un buen día y muchas gracias.